Good evening, gardening family. Here for a quick second, just dropping in. Ah, two days ago, on the 9th of March, I put these cucumber seeds in here. Yeah, they had already started germinating. This morning, on the night, on the 11th, not this morning, because it's the 12th now. On the 11th, this morning, I looked. They had already popped up. These are the Space Master cucumbers. I have one, two, three. So I have a good 70% germination out of 10 out of 100%. And there are others coming up. I just wanted to show you this. This was like on the 9th of March. It just turned to the 12th of March. So this took about two days, probably less, a little less than two days. Look how quickly they came up. That's why they say when you get the pea pellets, you need to get the taller ones. Let's see if I can do this without messing up. See, these are the shorter ones. And they're good for uh, plants that are not going to grow and have thick roots. And I'm trying to think of some that I'm talking about. I would say like your pepper plants, bell pepper, hot pepper plants, because they have a very thin stem when they're growing. But even your tomato plants, but eh, sometimes your tomato plants need a bigger peapot. Pea pot. But things like watermelon, zucchini, and squash, uh, honey nut, squash, yeah, and okra, you're going to probably want to get the ones that are about me they're going to be more expensive but they're bigger than this like the roll to be about this big and they can comfortably stay in there without up potting until it's time to put them in the ground but the ones that are this size right here and let's see here i want to show you this this is after being in here for two days look at the look at the roots look at the roots popping out two days it is rapidly growing. So I've got to come up with something else. Yeah. I'm going to need to put them in a container with soil. I'll keep them in the pea pod like this. I'm going to keep them in here. But just stick this in a container of soil. I'll show you what I'm going to do. And therefore those roots can um, continue to grow through the netting and we have room to grow as opposed to hitting the wall and start they'll be searching for soil and that can also kill your plant but this is just two days two days of growth right here you have to always check and I'm gonna have to put water in here because it's on a heat mat and sitting under some lights so they dry out quicker when they're in they don't have that much growing medium as well they dry out quicker, so you have to keep watering them. So it's not like, let me see here, I'm making you dizzy. It's not like this right here. See, I have it in this container. This is the spinach. These are these hot peppers that we did together. So I don't have to water these as often, but all of this is growing over here. All of that, you see my sweet potato slips out to water those every day too. All of this is growing over here. More plants. I think these are, uh, these are not peppers. I can't remember what they are. But anyway, all of that. Help me. <laughs> it's going to have to get into something taller. But anyway, just wanted to come to you, keep you updated, like I said I would, on these uh, cucumber Space Master cucumber seeds that got stuck outside in the rain started to germinate, and I put these um, put them inside of the container here with the pea pod, and some I transplanted to outside today. I did a video on that, so we're gonna see how quickly those come up because they will be winter soil outside. They won't have the same growing condition out there as these have in here. I dare it's going to be cooler. We are going down to 32 and 30 degree weather here in zone 8A 
on Monday and Tuesday. So we'll see how well they do. I'll keep you updated. This is Georgia Peach Nut signing out. Uh, please hit the like button for me. That's all I'm asking is that you hit the like button if you like the video. And if the video helped, if you like me showing you from beginning to end how things grow here in the Georgia Peach Nut Garden, hit the like button. Thank you and have a blessed weekend.